what is up, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a batch file beep and how to make a loading bar. So to make a batch file beep, what you're going to want to do is go start, run, then CMD or Windows key run. And then you're going to go, um, you can type the whole path or right click where you want it with the shift key held down. Open command window here. And then you can just um, do echo, space, control and G and then two greater than signs to let's call it loading dot bat. So now we have a uh, dispatch file and edit. Sorry, wrong one. Edit. And then we have to type an echo after that. And now it beeps. Alright. So now we need to make the loading bar. So I'm going to skip this echo down here, and um, so the two characters you're going to need are these right here, and I'll put these in the description. The U thingy is the outside, and the degree sign is the inside. So real quick here, I'm just going to surround it with it, and I'll be right back. Alright, so now we have this, and I had to do a bit of tweaking to get this so it lined up perfectly. I'm going to make sure to put echo at the beginning of every line, and then I just did a pause statement to show you here. So now we have this. If we want to put a uh, thing that shows progress, uh, let's say this is 1%, you need to put 2% signs, otherwise it will just show 1. Alright, so now we're going to delete the uh, pause statement and put a ping local host, so that will ping your computer, and space n, or space and then dash n and this will do it for however many seconds. So we're going to put three seconds and then we're going to go greater than null. Okay. So now we're just going to copy this and put clear uh, CLS after it which will clear the screen and then we will just keep adjusting this to however much you want it to be. Um, so, it's really a trial and error thing. So now we're going to open it up and see what it does. And it beeps after that, and you can see here that we were a bit off with that, so now we can check it out again. And we now have that. So, after this, I'm going to create a a uh, quick sample menu here. Okay, so there's a the quick menu here. And at the top, we're going to put title and then installer. Okay, so now if we open this up, and you can make it go to 100 just for the sake of time, I'm just doing that. It beeps, says thank you for installing. I appreciate it. Press any key to exit. Um, so now, Instead of having all of this black space, it just looks horrible, looks unprofessional. Um, what you can do is right click on it, click create shortcut, right click on the shortcut, properties, layout, and then for the width, you want, um, and again, uh, trial and error with this. So first I'm going to try 10 by, uh, yeah, 10 by 4. And we can see here that that is definitely not working. So, I'm going to go 15 by 6. And we still need a lot more. So, I found um, that 30 by 6 works fairly well for just the loading bar itself. Uh, you can tweak it to whatever you want, obviously, for the text after that. Um, it's going to be a bit of a problem. And then you can change the icon if you want. And you can also view my tutorial on that if you like. Um, so, I'm just going to select this icon here. So now we have this. And thank you for watching my tutorial on this. 
And remember, please subscribe, write, and comment. If you have any ideas for future tutorials or videos, please uh, let me know by commenting below. Thank you for watching.